I had found a couple little islands offshore that uh, come up to around six to eight feet and they're near creek channel. So we got these fish moving into the shallows to spawn. They're chasing bait fish up in the flats. Did you get any more? There we go. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a freaking giant. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in central Ohio at Alum Creek and today we're going to be doing a little pre-spawn smallmouth fishing here on this beautiful lake. I absolutely love it. I've only been up here a couple times but I got my kayak with me. Got a few hours after work and the water temps are 60 degrees so these smallies are pushing up into the shallows. I'm going to fish offshore utilizing my side scan. I'm not really good at using electronics but I, want to come, I wanted to come out here and practice and uh, see what we can get into on the pre-spawn front. Be throwing the five inch trace. I'll be throwing some crankbaits, just some typical stuff um, that smallmouth like to do. These fish are coming up here and they're putting on the feed bag. So come along with me, see if we can't catch some smallmouth today, guys. Let's go. All right, one of the baits I'm gonna be pre-fishing with is obviously one of the one of my highest confidence baits right now. I've been throwing a lot. It's a five inch, five inch trace by six cents. This is the slow sinking and the bone pearl, I believe this color is, an excellent shad pattern. Seeing a lot of shad swimming around here and getting busted on. So we're gonna throw that, we're gonna throw some cranks around these shallow islands and see if we can't get bit. It's a giant. It's a giant. Let's go! Oh my goodness. Alright, we got a nice 17 and a quarter. It's probably a three plus. Yeah, I got a three and a, right here. Three and a half, maybe. Oh, four I'll pounds. Four pounder? Yeah. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Just look at the belly. Uh, yeah. Eggs, that's man. all. That's a big old female. I appreciate it so much, man. Yeah, man. Have fun. All right, y'all. We got a 17 and a quarter incher, but those dudes over there on the boat helped me weigh it. Look at the belly on this fish. <laughs> it's a four pounder. Look how built that is. Unbelievable. On the six cents crankbait. Look at that beast. Unreal. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Here you go, big girl. Let's go. Got the shad burst crankbait. This dives to around eight to 10 feet. And uh, I'm fishing the submerged island out here, looking location next to a deep creek channel. Just kind of burning this and hitting the bottom and that fish smoked it. Oh my God. No side scan. Giant. Oh my God. Oh my God, let's go. Woo. Oh my goodness. We just picked up a freaking giant. He's bleeding, but I'm gonna get the hooks out on the freaking six cents, five inch trace. You know what? It's not even that. It's 18 inches, but it's probably a five pounder. A barrel. Here, I got a scale. You want it? Oh, he's 18 and a half. Check it out, y'all. Four and a half pounder. Those dudes in the boat weighed it for me. Big old female. Look at the belly. 18 and a half inch. Look at the colors. There she goes. 
Let's go, right there on the freaking trace. What's crazy is there's a probably a school of about 30 of them that are all your size and the one I just caught. What's crazy is when I was going between the buoys, I seen a big school of shad on my sonar. I'm trying to figure out. I'm pretty sure it was like this direction. See, and that's the thing, dude. Everyone's coming out here throwing us a, a crankbait, which can be good, but to get to Biggins, there's, there's something nobody else is really throwing. Especially for smallmouth. There's there it is. Oh, he spit, dude. He's spitting up sh giant shad. I saw that. I thought that was your bait. Come here, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, well, just caught another tank. That's a three pounder. What's cool about this bait, too, is it's only 25 bucks. What, which one? Which six inch one is that? It's the new five inch trace they just came out with. There we go. 17 and a half. That's a long one. Crushing it out here on these flats. Here you go, buddy. Did you catch any more? What? Did you get any more? I got one the same No, you didn't. There we go. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a freaking giant. I just caught a 20. I just got a five pounder, bro. Oh my God. Look at this freaking small mouth. Oh my God. Look at that thing. Holy Lord. Dude, oh my goodness. Check this out, y'all. We just got a certified. That might be, that's a 20 incher. Right there on the trace. And it absolutely crushed it, dude. We'll give her some drink and then we'll get a picture over on the board and all right, let's see what this one is. Please, baby Lord Jesus, be a 20. Let's see what we got. Got a 20. Got a 20, dude. My third 20 in my life. All right, let's let this one go. Unreal. On the swim bait, dude. On the five inch trace. It's a five pounder. What do you think? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah. Close to you. Line, you it goes. <laughs> let's freaking go, dude. Unbelievable. I caught one of the biggest smallmouth of my life in the last 10 minutes of the day fishing a six to seven foot flat out offshore near Deep Creek Channel. And he absolutely obliterated the trace swim bait. All this fish just came up and just were smoking it. My line would go slack. Unreal. I knew this bait was going to be special. And I've, I know I'm, I'm making a lot of videos with it, but it's become a confidence bait for me and I absolutely love throwing it. It's so much fun and it's something different I've never really thrown before in my life really. I've always thrown finesse stuff. If you've watched my channel the past three or four years, I've, I've just stuck to spinning rods and small stuff and I'm starting to dip my toes in the bigger, bigger baits, bigger profiles. But yeah, Allen Creek showed out today. I caught four fish. Um, smallest one was 17 and a quarter inches. My biggest one was 20 plus inches was 20 inches and I've only caught, that's my third 20 incher in my life. Um, so I'm just blown away. The bite was absolutely phenomenal. It's April 13th and the water temps were 60 degrees. So 
that's perfect pre-spawn activity. These fish are super active. I've seen schools of shad just getting busted on left and right by these big smallmouth. Tied on the trace, went to work and crushed some. If you'd like to grab some water lanes, just go to Crawler 15 on the website. Go to VanceOutdoors.com for your rods, reels, lines, lures. Save 15% off using Crawler 15. And if you'd like to get that trace, the five inch trace, Six Cents has it on their website. And you can use Crawler to save 10%. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the water. Let's go.